Hello everyone, my name is Sergeant Spitfire, and welcome to uh, uh, another fan video. And to, um, you know, do what I did do last week, which I did upload because of work, I'm going to do something that I wanted to do for a while, ever since I started uh, watching MLP and started actually reacting to it. But like I said, I watched these. Oh, I'm reacting to everything wrong with by Little Shy, if I am. I love his channel. He was actually the first, uh, not like the first, like fan channel thing that did like fan stuff for MLP that I actually like liked and subscribed and stuff. Um, but like I said, I watched him forever and I never thought really to react to him until I just got an idea. I haven't seen these other what like five. Six videos? I forget. I don't know these here. Six videos. Six videos. Uh, they're the, they're um, you know, A Easy B and Breezy, uh, Some Pony uh, the Rock Over Me, Mod Pie, uh, For Whom Three Bell to Toils, uh, Leap of Faith, and Testing Testing One Two Three. I like all these episodes. Uh, eight 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 Easy B and a Breezy. Some. Not really a good episode. Uh, did sell a lot of toys. Um, some Pony to Watch Over Me is a good episode. Uh, it's kind of cringy in some spots, but that's what the writer wanted to do to think, probably. It's good. Mod Pie. One of my favorite episodes of all time. Uh, gave us an awesome character and some awesome moments between those, uh, between that character and another one of my favorite characters. So, it's good. Uh, for, uh, for whom the Tweety Bell toils, uh, that's a good episode, uh, another one like, uh, Luna's episodes, uh, which is good, um, I don't remember too much about it, but, uh, I remember what I know, it's a good episode, Leap of Faith, again, uh, another, uh, good, you know, good episode. Can't remember too much, uh, but it's a good episode. And then uh, testing, testing one, two, three is I got a lot to talk about this because it's again uh, one of my favorite episodes. Uh, so like I said, this is the lesson. The lesson uh, connects with me a lot, so that's why it's just about uh, you know teaching in different ways, which is something that I experience because I am dyslexic and I am uh, ADHD. So I can't really read that good, and I have to move whenever I'm bored, basically. So I basically uh, learn by uh, being active and moving and stuff like that. If I'm not moving, I won't pay attention. That's why the fidget cubes and fidget spinners and you know any other fidget toy is something I do uh, every day at work. I have to do it or I won't work. So I even do it at home when I'm editing or just watching a video or something as I uh, play with uh, a fidget cube because if not, I just get bored of whatever I'm doing and I even count for watching videos. Uh, so that's why I always get kind of bored and stuff. So I don't have it because I want you guys to hear any clicking or anything. So that's why I don't talk and sometimes I just get bored. So enough with me jabbering and blabbering and all those fun words. What's well, actually just get into these episodes and see what he has to say. Spoilers. The house just a little bit quieter. Fluttershy gestures with the finger she doesn't have. Yes. The background doesn't reach top. Yay. I don't know. Flutter Yay returns after more than two years. Wow. These fluttering wings. Yes. We're gonna blow those breezies apart. Violent exaggeration. Very. It's the breeze that activates the breezy's magic. Here's a game. Keep track of all the episode's newly contrived rules of magic. Yes. Four seasons in, and ponies still use Twilight's lip. Wow. No breeze means no magic means the pollen goes bad. The pollen going yeah. bad is never actually an issue. Not really. Two days to get that pollen back before the portal to their home closes. Breezies have an inexplicable magic portal home because yes. the map of Equestria is already getting too crowded. Yeah. Hashtag just white pony things. 
Wow. Hasbro was just so in love with previous generations that they had to bring back the Breezies of all things. Yes. And what's next? Sea ponies? <laughs> yes. Buy some apples. 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 Spike says he can't I'm American. See, in fact, which the episode hinges upon, even though he clearly can see. No unicorn thought to effortlessly grab this leaf. No, either no, no, no. the leaf is huge, or it's nowhere near the breezies. It's Rainbow Dash's huge. shadow appears midair. Flutter's wow. cutie mark <laughs> keeps changing. Fluttershy's yeah, shadow leaps off the ground. Best pony mysteriously vanishes. <laughs> yes. Green squiggly line. Thimbles exist in Equestria for some reason. Applejack's True. tiny cutie mark suddenly grows. Lens what? <laughs> what did he say? I'd rather not see. He said your mother has the face of a horse. Wow. <laughs> Fluttershy actually falls for this, even yeah. though she tried pulling the same trick herself once. Maybe just a few more minutes? Uh, all right. Rainbow Dash doesn't intervene, not because it's unlike her to do so, but because it serves the story. Yeah. Seabreeze? Seabreeze! That's one of four possibilities, Fluttershy. Yeah. Random Doctor and Rose cameo. Yes. A character being back to the edge of a ledge is far less exciting when they can fly. You must leave before it's too late. You would never survive in Ponyville. Leave it to the breezy episode to literally be a matter of life and death. Yeah. It was explained that the pollen goes bad without breeze magic, so one could assume the complete lack of pollen means it was a total loss. But then they are all suddenly carrying pollen again. They're only doing this because more breezies makes for a more stable flight. But six doesn't really compare to the dozens they needed earlier. Yeah. Breezy gender seems to be indicated by eye shape. But yes, for some true. reason, most of the main six have male eyes. Hmm. Weird. Um, I mean, let's go. Species changing spell is no problem, but being able to understand the language is simply beyond magic's ability. Yeah, a couple Pegasi and Ponyville are able to create a breeze that stretches across Equestria. No pony thought to simply place the breezes in a vehicle or a container to be safely flown by a Pegasus in 10 seconds flat. True. You can do this. I'm sorry for how I treated you before. Seabreeze speaks the common tongue just for us to understand him. When the main six yeah. describe the Breezy's land, they set aside the script for a moment to read from the back of the toy set's box. Yeah. Pinkie Pie spawns in, cutting it this closely and not even being in a hurry. So now that we can turn into any other species, will we ever use this ability to our advantage in the future? Not a chance. Yeah, no. I'm gonna say no. Seabreeze! No, not the beast! Not the <laughs> wow, beast. okay. Sorry. I demand that you go away now, or you'll have to answer to me! Yeah. Good as Patreon. He, de he deserves it for all his work. Floor mounted lights are a staple of the Apple homestead. Yeah. These out of character wings. Here we see the <laughs> wild lens wings. flare creeping out True. from its cloud home. Big Mac's animation skips. AJ's magic eyelashes. Same oh, right. down, mirrored directions. That's the only reason I agreed to let Apple well, okay. stay behind alone. It is? We know Applejack as the element of honesty, when really she's the element of not having a filter. Yeah. Apple Bloom's mouth doesn't move as she says goodbyes. Well, okay. Applejack could have expressed a genuine Good. concern for her sister here, or the writer could have just shoehorned in an unfunny joke that makes Applejack out to be brainless. And with that, the episode erased any possible sentimental value either of these items had. Yeah. Make sure the handsome Bo's closet is fully stocked. Very what true. would she have done if it wasn't fully stocked? If I wanted to stand here on the Bought kitchen talking to myself, I can. It's a little weird to have characters talk to themselves so much. Let's have them address that fact to make it less weird. Yeah. Apple Bloom drops her spaghetti. Which oh, wow. is stranger, the fact that they have a <laughs> stash of spaghetti. potato chips, or the fact that they keep them in the refrigerator? Hey! Who put pillows on this ray? The better question is, who could have such terrible spatial awareness that they wouldn't notice the pillow right away? Yeah. Hey, Applejack! 
Watch me bump these apples on my own. Is that not something she's been doing all of her life? The only thing more out of place okay. than her verbalizing this action is Applejack's prevention of it. Applejack manages to tie up these nets from the ground and within seconds using her freaky earth pony witchcraft. Putting plastic on everything is the opposite of baby proofing. Yeah. No, this is spaghetti dropping proofing. Maybe fourth time's the charm with the helmet joke. Humor is repetition, right? Right? No. And that's the reason I asked y'all to come this on. This is the first time. How did she ask okay. them so quickly? Did she text them on her Apple phone? Yes. That'll show Applejack I don't need some pony watching over me. Roll some of the credits. Yeah, roll some no of the credits. But we have plenty of time for Applejack to act obnoxiously out of character. After the CMC True. first hear Applejack approach, it takes her another 46 seconds to finally open the door. I guess you must have been so tuckered out you sent your friends home and went to bed. Hey Applejack, addressing the apparent plot convenience only makes it more of a sin. There yeah, is no true. way Applejack is this blind. Bo is slowly turning into AJ's hat. What? Applejack has a change of heart to restore her change of heart back to normal. <gasps> wow, Applebloom will be so glad to hear that! You can add Scootaloo to the list of characters that were lobotomized for this episode to exist. <laughs> yeah. Smarty Pants hides under Applebloom's bed from Big Mac. She could be lost. Go, go, All right. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Go to the uh, Let's hope uh, Applejack good. hasn't added Applebloom. Somebody thinks that we can notice those watching things. movies like five okay. times. Rarity's on her good. way here to look after you two. Good that I can notice them when I watch them while she went to fifth times. Or did she use an Apple phone too? But like the hundred times. Applebloom casts light instead of a shadow. Did someone change the channel? Yes. I thought we were watching My Little Pony. You know how pretty much every piece of children's media will inject humor during the action to keep it from getting too intense? This episode attempts that, but it falls so flat it actually improves the scene's suspense. In other words, this episode's greatest accomplishment is its failure. Now, sisters on Yeah. Three. Yeah. That. Unnecessary countdown to give protagonist a chance to escape. Apple Bloom accepts her fate and just stands here, waiting to be saved by an Applejack ex machina. These mares are eating some pony's leg. <laughs> what? You hadn't snuck out like you did. Maybe I wouldn't have figured that out. The cannibal Moral man. of the story? Disobey your parent slash guardian because kids know better. No pie? Pie. Missed opportunity to have two shooting stars watching over them. Yeah. I don't mean to interrupt the happy ending, but we don't need that map to get home, do we? Applejack is oddly specific about things to set up the need for oddly specific tools during the climax. But the payoff doesn't work because the tools in the climax are actually things you need to survive and not... I didn't write down that if she wants to get a spoon out of the drawer, she needs to open the drawer first. True. Yeah, that was one of my uh, things I didn't write, uh, you know, mention is that... Uh, Applejack had a character Applejack. Again, uh, support, go to his Patreon, his Twitter, and uh, I guess go to his Facebook uh, if you want. Next episode. My pie. Rarity and Fluttershy's yells are out of order. These stoic wings. Yes. Most ponies stop eating once they feel unwell. Unlike Princess Twilight, whose eating problem is re-emphasized yet again. Yeah. Pinky taste tests different flavors by eating all of them at once. Oddly misaligned Taste titles. rainbow? She's only staying for the week. Oh, it's not just for mud, silly. In response to a completely innocuous statement, Pinky fires back with a full-blown silly. When Maude and I were fillies on the rock farm. Obligatory, what the heck is a rock farm, Sin? Yeah. What kind of a rock are they? But I like that, like, colored, like, this mare's out of control. pencil kind of art Twilight's thing. Twilight's wings disappear right before your eyes. Wow. Impossibly out of focus background. Everyone may know who Maude is these days, but there needs to be a Sin in memory of a time where her character came out of nowhere and clashed with pre-existing canon regarding the Pie family. Very true. Fluttershy's extra nostril. Book Horse introduces her friends in alphabetical order. Rarity of didn't course. immediately notice Maud's outfit and judge her accordingly. The next time you hear a joke about Angel being in an abusive relationship with Fluttershy, just remember how jealous he gets when she talks about other pets. Maud pushes wow. Boulder towards this sandwich, which he then eats between shots. Rock falls into Muffin Basket, disappears, then reappears. Pinky hmm. clarified right. earlier that the edible rocks are a special type Maude discovered. This suggests normal rocks are inedible, just like the real life equivalent. But then Maude eats this one without a problem. It's Maude. She just does that. Dang it, Dash. I lose. Background doesn't reach left of frame. 
Oh, well, it's just... I believe that is a dish towel. Rarity often does her dishes in the bedroom. Also, she owns this ugly thing in the first place. Pinkie Pie's iris is gone. Whoa. It does go very well with your complexion. That's racist. We get it, you vape. What? God is ready to make some racist. apple cupcakes. <laughs> vapes. Keeping things on the burner of any stove is a bad habit. But judging by the existence of bellows, the left burner is probably just as hot as the right. Luckily, Pinkie's hooves True. are burn-proof. Told you she was super honest. Just like you! In that case, Mod Pie breaks Pinkie promises without remorse. It's okay, Pinkie. Everyone has days like that. <laughs> wow. Pinkie Pie's yeah. giant pink pimple. I'm not sure it's the best time to make best friend rock candy necklaces. The princess of friendship, everyone. We just wouldn't feel right making something that means we're best friends if, well, we aren't. Except Pinky is clearly the one who gave the necklaces such sentimental importance. Therefore, yeah. if she's fine with it, there's no reason not to participate, other than just to be jerks. That pony is a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an igneous. Winston Churchill and Russia are canon. Yeah. Russia's disjointed hindquarters. Pinkie Pie builds all of this in an afternoon. Disbelief can be suspended Pinkie pretty pie. much for all but the massive mountain of boulders. These yeah. animals have pupils, suggesting a higher level of sentience than their friends. Pinkie's friends stand idly by to witness her demise. Any one of them has been shown to have the ability to leap into action in the past. Even when Mod does leap into action to save her sister, she takes the time to first go for a stroll well, through that. the obstacle course. Makes Jesus. me happy knowing Pinkie Pie has such good friends. Considering the sin before last, that's some weapons-grade burn right there. Rainbow Dash's head gets ahead of herself. Wow, oh, that thing again. shaped hoof. Berry punches excessive mare spreading. I don't watch these on like my computer. I watch them on my phone, so maybe that's why I haven't noticed some of these small little details. So. Family rock candy recipe. It has a secret ingredient. It's Rainbow Dash. <laughs> Rainbow Dash. <laughs> wow. It's, it's Rainbow Rocks. <laughs> yeah. Again. So put them on Patreon. Unicorn magic can separate individual sequins from tongue without ripping apart said tongue. In other words, unicorns are still OP. Yeah. These nightmarish wings. <laughs> she has Very known true. about this for weeks, right? I worked so hard on this play. Sweetie Belle dodged that question so well, she surely has a future career in politics. Apple Bloom occasionally has a full-grown mare's eye shines. Sweetie Belle's eyes freeze for a moment. For Sif and Anon. Sweetie Belle frequents 4chan. Scootaloo's wings punch holes through her costume. You may tell us how much you loved it now. Brony content creators at conventions in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah. They had to go help Rarity get Sapphire Shores' wardrobe ready. The main six abandoned the play to help Rarity work on dresses. Friend over family, I guess. In proper Truman Show style, every pony in the room responds to Sweetie Belle's statement. Shoeshine is strangely small compared to Amethyst. Amethyst star.exe has stopped responding. <laughs> what is with those Dash eyes? Off screen without ever actually leaving. This section of the crowd isn't okay. even paying attention. Wilhelm is allergic to rain. Yeah. Princess Luna's shoulder weakness. Sweetie Belle's tail goes through this spindle. This room of fire. She was a ghost. Not a so single parent to be it seen. Works. I'm tired of waiting. Scootaloo's secret color changing powers. Rarity actually is the one to blame here. Sweetie Belle's friends are downright horrible, and Rarity should have let them leave. I was going to save them to the end. Who saves party favors until the end? Sure, some things one may take home, but party horns like this? Sweetie Belle accepts True. this as fact, and not a fabrication by Luna. It's not part of her memory, and it can't be part of Luna's, unless Luna happened to be hiding in the room at the time. I thought I was the only one who got worried about stuff like that. Stuff like what? Perfectly common concerns regarding commitments and responsibilities? Rarity wears an eye mask because darkness in Equestria is scary. If Rarity was holding these pieces together with a single stitch, then that's on her. A couple ponies in the crowd have had way too much caffeine. Fluttershy's oh, wow. tongue attempts to vacate her mouth. No, I don't do that anymore. Rarity was never the same since going cold turkey. Rarity apparently didn't take the train, probably because the CMC wouldn't be able to then, and we would have a much shorter episode. Also, True. they're heading in the opposite direction of Canterlot. This blue building is black all of a sudden. 
<laughs> CMC All right. can't scale this building, so instead they scale this one off screen. See, dear, I told you these tiny balconies weren't just for decoration. <laughs> wow. Tail muscles. Apple Bloom and Scoots don't retain their momentum as Sweetie Belle does for some reason. Sweetie Belle spares Rarity embarrassment by embarrassing her. Grabbing True. something and taking it out of reach of a human might be effective, but there's no reason for a unicorn not to be able to get this back. This chase scene True. becomes increasingly annoying when you consider the previous sin. Does No Pony LC Princess Luna? Or is Sweetie Belle still dreaming? Whoa, yeah. Huzzah! The wings have been doubled! Wow, cool okay. game. Double the wings. Just like my big sister. <laughs> to be yeah, honest, that was good. The costumes were the best part. Love wasted beats, man. They're my weakness. Again, to put on my Patreon. Did Twitter and Facebook. Leap of faith. It can make you shorter, taller, or even grow old. Lens flare. Apple Lens Bloom wears swim floaties, which don't float. Splash specifically targets yeah. Granny from afar. Also, the splash increases the number of apples for some reason. Old timey Ponyville buildings are more modern than modern Ponyville. Back wow. in the olden days, we even fell slower. <laughs> wow. So it took years before I could even look at the water again. Granny Smith isn't old, she's just dehydrated because of the hydrophobia. That explains why she's yeah. better after a drink. These charlatan wings. Half of Ponyville is visibly injured in some way because it's convenient for the plot. The apples don't notice Granny's father walking by. Not only that, but he hasn't aged a day. Wow. I where every pony's headed. I don't know, why right. don't you ask some pony? Now, where in Ponyville do you two think you're going? We're going down the same path we've been walking. True to reality, the season four finale related merchandise appeared long before the finale itself. Cartoon True. cartoon ponies. One would be hard pressed to devise a less practical use of crutches. No pony True. questions why Shill's eyesight isn't also restored. Copying background ponies works a lot better when one of them doesn't have a head full of Paris sprites. Pony wow. knees only seem to bend this way when the brothers are around. If these are photographs and these are illustrations, what are these? Adobe Pony Shop confirmed? <laughs> Make Adobe you shorter, Pony Shop confirmed. With claims like this, you'd think Apple Bloom would at least inquire about it giving her a cutie mark. Fishing exists True. in Equestria for some reason. Apple Bloom murders a helpless boulder. Applejack murders a helpless Bloomberg. Granny uses magic sensory powers to avoid collision. She also ages backwards. Here she is in season two. Here she is in season four. And here she is in season nine. <laughs> this, is <laughs> this is the only time it's referred it to as an happen. elixir. Meanwhile, Tonic is mentioned almost season 40 eight's times. Season coming out. Those aware of source materials probably know why the show would want to avoid the word elixir, which yeah. suggests this one was left in by mistake. One apple and a couple leaves should not produce this much juice. Clearly, Flem and Flam are secretly adding another ingredient, which makes up the other 85%. There you are! Everything. I've been looking all over. Did you find out what's in the tonic? This is not an appropriate question to blurt out right in front of Flem and Flam. These knots should be under the seat. Yeah. Being back in the water is one yeah. thing, but a competition is a pony of a different color. That's racist. Yeah, it is racist. <laughs> Granny's rarity-inspired beatbox. <laughs> this movement yeah. shouldn't be possible, but the voice actor, so cartoon. maybe that's why. Granny loses a hair, which remains quantum locked to her head. <laughs> what? These judges are extremely biased if the trophy they are handing out is Granny's likeness. Cloud Kicker is about to fall through this cartoon hole. Uh, yeah, to you, Shadow's I weird. realize that sometimes honesty isn't the best policy. She's obviously a fan of the last roundup. Convenient bungee <laughs> disguised as a normal rope is convenient. Applejack's honesty realization effect occurs a minute and a half after her honesty realization, because had it occurred then, she wouldn't have enough time to save Granny. True. Lens flares have been a recurring sin for a while now because of how little sense they make in a cartoon, but this one makes so little sense no flare can ever top it. Yeah. Flim and Flam didn't have Shill sign a non-disclosure agreement because they can't even be good at being bad. Apple Bloom's laugh sounds a lot like Sweetie Belle, oddly enough. <laughs> Yeah, this sound 
Very similar. Now you hold your horse feathers. Macadoo, up for a little afternoon apple bucket? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. I love that again. Uh, another why I why, like reason why I like him is he actually inspired me to get into like editing. So, I love his editing style. It's very good. Good. It's awesome, actually. How in equestria does that pony expect to pass her history of the Wonderbolts exam tomorrow if she's wasting time flying? Speaking enormous amounts of exposition to self, sin combo. Yeah. All of these crumpled sheets of paper transform into only three sheets. Twilight takes a chance by assuming the desk and or blackboard hasn't been moved a couple inches. Yeah. Also, does the spell force unwilling participants to sit when needed? These difficult wings. At first, the book appears huge due to the camera angle, but then Dash puts her hooves on it to prove it's actually huge, but only for that one shot. Yeah. Twilight's so good at teaching, she doesn't even need to move her mouth to do so. Headed by General Firefly. General Whoa. Firefly later left the team due to creative differences. The lightning showered down on the crowd. It was a tragic event. Twilight still uses a blackboard, even though this is possible. Yeah. Which is worse, the fact Twilight doesn't see this, or the fact Hasbro didn't think they could get away with a real whoopee cushion joke until season six? Wow. Twilight brutally murders True. Fernando's cousin. <laughs> Fernando. Horsing around like this. Dash's uh, answers are ridiculously off Bill. the mark. General Blazing Donut Glaze. <laughs> that name. one actually sounds like a pony name. It does. Lucky's favorite flight pattern, the Icaranian Sun Salutation. Icarus is a story from Greek mythology about a man with artificial wings who flew too close to the sun, dropped from the sky, and died. This line also references Rarity's incident yeah. back in season one, but continuity isn't the sin here. The sin here is that Celestia's favorite flight pattern is the one where she gets to potentially witness a pony's death. Fluttershy prevents the breakup of the main six and not a moment too soon. Yes. Back when they were happy. As opposed to now, a time where they're best sisters again and Discord isn't ruining their day. Yeah. Nearly all of Dash's friends help her study for this test. Which begs the question, is Rainbow Dash the only pony to not know this history? Every pony must have had to rush ahead of Dash and Rarity to get there and dress up in time. But I, Pinky, am really real. Foreshadowing of when we discover she's just one of the Mirror Pool clones. And Granny Smith discovered the first Granny Smith in Philadelphia. Which came first, the name of the apple or the apple's name? Also, that bit of trivia has nothing probably to do with anything at the, the apple's moment. name. Spike then is here one her second, name probably. The next. But no. The storyboarders did a great job of keeping them animated while simply flying straight and talking. That is until the camera looks away, at which point they become static cardboard cutouts floating through the air. Yeah. Half of the kids watching this don't know what it means to rewind a tape. The other half of the kids watching this are adults. We will never find <laughs> True. out what was in this briefcase. Equestrian weather links to Pegasi Emotion, and you thought the Rainbow Factory was a dark fan fiction. Just imagine what the canonical Rain Cloud Factory must look like. Twilight moves the telescope <laughs> along one right. axis of movement, which somehow translates into two. Most of the ponies yeah, on this platform have no way of getting up here. Great. Going on. Read any good books lately? Twilight acts as though she hasn't yeah. seen Dash for like a while. It's like open. Now, There's like a door there. But ago. you know, who knows? The rain is as dry as a rock. Maybe I'll learn to shine shoes. Just getting my dreams crushed. No other plans for the rest of my life. Rainbow Dash's social media posts that day caused <laughs> yeah. her to lose many a friend and follower. Did you know Pinkie Pie grew up on a rock farm? Yeah, we were there just a couple episodes ago. Yeah. Rainbow Dash complains about how much of a loser she is. Then she lands at her giant mansion with her alicorn friend. Yeah. Rainbow Dash's tail detaches. No! Rarity's Luna impression is spot on. <laughs> of course Somehow, it is. Somehow Rainbow Dash can hear this history lesson while flying high above and talking with Twilight. Yes, that's the whole point of this episode's conflict resolution, but her freakish powers of observation are never explained. Yeah. Also, Dash sees all of this happening below and doesn't mention nor ask about it. This pointless staple. Yeah. The episode about learning difficulty has its rather realistic conflict magically resolved in seconds to the extent that she not only passes the test, but gets a full 100%. Wait. He never actually looks at Dash's answers. He just skims the page on top and gives her a 100% moments later. Bad grade. Er. You are not dumb. Flashcards. <laughs> Flashcards, this of course. Is gonna be so much fun. Oh, yep, teleporting. It's not good. You don't want to do that.
So good. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the outro. Remember, like, support him on Patreon and his Twitter. Follow him. And go to his Facebook page. See you guys in the outro. Yeah, that was fun. I always forget how fun these are when you watch them uh, all like in a, a group like this. They're really fun. Uh, I really enjoy them. They're really, 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 really fun. Uh, they're great. I love Little Shy. Uh, like I said in the intro, I love his editing. He's just a great uh, YouTube personality. Um, but yeah, I really like these. All the uh, like all the things he said, I agree with. Uh, especially uh, you know, uh, some of to watch over me. That's why it was cringy because Bojack is kind of out of character. Let's see, she really isn't, but she kind of is. Uh, so I'll say yes and no for that. But yeah, um, you're fun, uh, and I can't wait till he brings out more. I might actually wait until like another dozen. Well, not that many, but like another five or six come out before I start doing them again. And I do want to do the one to the MLP movie to see what he says because you know my opinions on it already. So, uh, yeah. So, I might actually watch that next week. Uh, yeah, if you guys like, like, if you guys like this video, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll watch the Everything Wrong with, uh, ML the MLP movie because I said you already know my opinions on it. So, yeah, I was all... I uh, really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, you did. If you didn't, you did it. But like I said, if you guys want to support me, all you got to do is hit that like button and uh, let me know what you like and what you don't like. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, peace the fuck out. Do